welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am Just Queen Wells and I'm here to bring you some insights into doing your makeup and shopping online. But today I am doing a get ready with me. I've got some new makeup so I'm going to do a full get ready with me. So we're going to do my makeup and my hair and I'm going to do a outfit of the day that uh, I got from one of my online shops. So if you want to see how I do this, don't forget to click that bell so you will be notified every time I upload a video and thumbs up this video and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. So stay tuned. Okay, so I got my glasses on, but I'm going to go ahead and take my glasses off and we're going to get right into the makeup. So I've been using some new items that I picked up from um, Sephora because I've been trying to use some new stuff, but I've been pretty much trying to stick to the basics. But um, let's just get go ahead and get started. I already went ahead and primed my face. Um, so I'm going to go in with my milk. You guys know I actually like using that, using this. So I'm going to go in with this to go ahead and do my, my face. So I don't know what's been going on with you guys. I know a lot has been going on with me, of course. I am going through a divorce, well, on my final legs of a divorce, so yeah, it's been crazy in my household, yeah, so you guys have to excuse me, I know I have been not uploading on my usual schedule, it's been an emotional roller coaster for me, but these things happen and, you know, it's nothing you can do about them. You just have to go in with the flow. I'm going to go in with this mattifying primer because I want my makeup today to be a little matte as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some of this as well. Little under eye stuff on because I always do. Oh crap. <laughs> it just, <laughs> I just squirted it out so. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put a little bit right there. My face has been breaking out and all that stuff. And I had surgery. It was my birthday gift. I will tell you guys about that a little later on. Um, yeah, so I will go through that with you a little later process. Um, yeah, my face has been breaking out. And yeah, it just has not been pretty. I'm going to go ahead and use my air spun to uh, just set this under eye primer. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what the hell? That's really setting it. <laughs> I went buck wild in the setup. It looks like it's not focused. So I have been using this, um, uh, again, Born This Way. I absolutely love this makeup. Uh, I'm using this again. I hope you can see this. My, my camera is not focusing the way it's supposed to be. But I'll put my color and everything. I've been using this again. I used to use it before. Then I stopped and um, start trying something else. Now I have gone back to it again, so yeah, I'm just going to spray my um, my brush so it won't pick up all of my product. And I'm just going to spread this on my forehead because I'm going to do my forehead first. And I'm not using a whole lot of product because I'm not going anywhere, so. And um, charcoal, I'm going to use that to do my brows real quick and you guys see me do this a thousand times so I am just gonna do one brow and then I'll do the other brow off camera 
and come back when that is done. I'm going to use this to clean up underneath my brows as well. I'm just going to use that and spread this product around. Like I said, this is not thick. That is not thick. It's not going to, it's not good to use that for. I got it in one of my kits. Um, I wasn't impressed with it because it wasn't thick. It was kind of runny and light, but um, as an under eye little concealer, it does all right as a little base anyway so I got that done um, I'm going to go ahead and use one of the palettes I actually got um, that I was just in love with and let me put my glasses on for this this one is called the blink uh, what is it called Blink ink um, I actually love this palette uh, my camera's not focusing in on it I'm loving this this palette here guys it is really really nice um i ah uh, my camera you well maybe you can see it uh crap i'll leave the description below this is really nice palette let me show you the colors this is just super super cute these colors are so nice i mean really really nice um I'm just loving these colors. I mean, this is just super, super nice. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but just just look at that payoff. This is a really nice palette. So I'm going to use this uh, today. And I'm going to go in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some primer, even though I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and put some primer on just so I can get a little bit more payout for my colors. I'm going to just go ahead and use a little primer base. I normally don't use a, a primer base, but I'm going to go ahead and put, put some on this time just to see how these colors hold up. And I'm going to use my little brush, which is a brush I had before. I'm just going to use this brush to kind of spread this around just a little bit. What I'm using is just this one I got off of line. It is not a true MAC product, but yeah, girl, sometimes you got to go rogue. So I'm going to go in with this color right here, and I'm going to put that on the, I'm going to actually go in and put that all over the eye. Uh, not real, really on the lid and the crease. And I'm going to take that from the inside all the way out. So I'm just kind of building my color as I go. And build it as thick as you want. You know, as, you know, as deep as you want that color to be. So I got that where I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, this little color right here, I'm going to put that right on the lid. And I will go ahead and use my, uh, let's see, I'm going to pack that on. So I want to use a flat brush for that. Let me see. clean my brushes. I'm going to go ahead and use this eye brush right here. I don't have a number for it, but I think it just came in one of my kits. But get any of your flat brushes so I'm gonna go in and I'm actually you know what I'm actually gonna use these two colors right here I don't know if you can see those my camera's not acting correctly but I'm gonna mix those colors and I'm gonna put them right here on my lid right here and because I want like a rose color but I want it to pop just a little bit and I'm gonna go take that right into my inner corner because I love when my inner corner has a little bit of that color in it. Just because I believe it looks so nice when your inner corner has that color in. I'm going to bring this all the way out. Now I do have a little droop in my eye. Of course, you know, old age girl. I'm just packing that on to make it look nice and vibrant. So that's how it looks so far. And then up at the top there, I am going to use um, just a nice fluffy brush like this one. I'm going to take that white, which is this, and the gold. I'm just going to take a dab of each. 
and I'm going to go ahead and put it up at that top because I don't want to be super shiny up there so I'm just going to take that and go across that top because I just want to make sure I'm getting and I want to blend this a little bit more because it just it's not looking very blended to me so blending is your friend you don't you just don't want that line to be there so I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more and I'm actually going to use a different brush I'm going to use my crease brush because I just want that to be well blended and I think my crease brush is going to make it look so much nicer and blend it at the top. I'm actually going to go in with another color just to darken up my edges. I'm going to darken up my edges just to bring some dimension to my eyes. And I'm liking how that is blending out, helping me blend that out. So, I'm sorry guys, I'm moving my mirror back and forth. <laughs> Because I'm trying to see. Okay, so I like the way that looks. I'm going to go in with this dark brown. But I'm going to mix it with this charcoal black. So these two colors right here, I'm going to mix them. And I'm still going to use my brush right here. And I don't want this super, super dark. But I do want that crease. going to do it like that. And how does that look, guys? Let me see. Okay, I like that. I wanted a little bit in that crease, so I'm actually going to use a different brush. Um, this is my Morphe M661 brush. So I'm going to use that in the brown. And I'm going to get that right in that crease. And bring it over, right over top of that other because I don't want it super super dark but I want it dark enough and then I'm going to go back with my flat brush and I'm going to go ahead and clean that back up again because I want to make sure that those colors stay nice and sharp at that bottom okay so I'm liking how that looks Okay, so I'm liking how that looks right there. Okay, I have finished my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and put these lashes on right here I'll put the name of them down below so you can go and check them out um, they are super dramatic <laughs> so beware beware um, yeah so I've been going through it girls let me tell you divorce is no fun it was a long time coming though I'm surprised uh, we lasted this long. Um, you know, when relationships are on their last leg, I mean, you know it, you know, but you're so busy trying to still fix things uh, because, you know, you still love your husband and you want things to work so badly that I'm going to see if these fit my eye. Um, that, uh, you're just oh wow these things uh, make my <laughs> make my eyes look so long so I'm gonna cut these uh, cause they are super big I'm gonna cut them a little bit and then I'm going to put them on okay so cause they are super dramatic and I don't need all of that on my face I'm not going anywhere but girl so yeah so you know I tell you anybody who is going through a divorce it is not something that you take lightly you know um, 
because yeah you know like I said it is no fun um, you uh, it's very emotional and you know it's nobody can be blamed you know for it because you both it takes two to make a marriage work it takes two to to you know bring it to its demise um, unfortunately so I would like to say it's all his fault <laughs> but which you know was sort of the way I wanted it to you know go but you know and the more I thought about it I said you know I could have been this way but you know things happen during the course of the marriage that starts to make you bitter about things so that's why I said sometimes it's best when you think it's time to walk away sometimes it's time to walk away um, I think I'm just the type that thinks that marriage should be long term that should be able to work things out but if that person is not willing to meet you halfway trust me <laughs> you are not going to fix them it just doesn't work that way you are going to be bitter and when you get bitter trust me things go downhill from there I'm gonna I'm putting these lashes on and uh, they're not as bad after I cut them they are super dramatic uh, like I would wear these if I was going out to a club or someplace like that definitely not wear them to work they are not work lashes I mean, you know, do you, if you want to wear them to work, yeah, wear them, wear them to work. I wouldn't wear them to work, but that's just me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup. And like I said, this is going to be super light because I am not going anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this on real quick. combination of my NYX and my Fenty uh, concealer. I'm just going to try to blend this in right here and then I'm going to set this and I'm not going to try to set it too much with powder because I don't want um, it to look really really cakey underneath my eye so I'm just going to use a light 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 powder and I'm just going to use this little brush right here and yes guys this brush came from my son gave it to me when he figured I was using makeup. He just got it from the art store. <laughs> he was little. And that was so long ago. But, hey, I still got it. And I'm just using, I got this little container and I mixed some powder in here that I like. Um, so I'm just using that powder I mixed up to set my under eye. And it's a mix of clear and butter powder. And then I'm going to go in with my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my, um, let's see. I'm going to actually, I haven't used this in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Fenty um, little stick for my, and this is really not dark enough for me, but as you can see, I can still use it. So I'm just going to use that, and I'm going to use my little brush here to kind of fan that out. And then I'm going to go in with a, um, with a powder to set that. That finish, and then I'm going to go in right here with the Sephora. Um, 
bronzer and I'm going to bronze up just a little. I'm a dark skin girl so I don't need a lot of bronzer but I love this bronzer. Don't ask me why. I just do. I think it just brings so much freaking color to your face. I mean, it just it just gives you that nice skin tone uh, on your cheeks, and I love it. It just brings me some. It just brings some life back in, you know, to me. Now, maybe not to everybody, but it just it does. And I'm dark skinned and I still think it 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 just it's just it's just beautiful. I mean, huh. I can't help but use it. And I probably use too much of it, but oh uh, girl. It's just it's just so freaking pretty. It's just so pretty. So anyway, okay, that's enough of that. And then I am going to go in with a little bit of the Fenty white because I don't like to look really, really totally yellow underneath my eyes so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this white right here and I'm just using the blender that came with it and I'm going to put some right there and that's it I'm not going to put a lot I'm just going to put a little right there and then I am going to try to go in with some girl my brushes is gone buck wild in here got a bunch of brushes but I don't use all of them I am going to get some blush let me get that I'm going to use something that's just spectacular to go in with this uh, Milani color it has just a little bit of shimmer in it so I don't have to really use highlighter so I'm gonna use that and it's gonna give me just enough of that highlighter that I'm looking for. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go that route right there. And listen, guys, I'm gonna contour my nose. I normally do not do that. Um, and let me. Can you see? Can I don't know if you could even see my blush but girl let me you know you ain't trying to be looking like a rose garden but ooh, yeah. okay so I'm going to contour my nose I normally do not but I just I am just in the mood today so we just gonna Really, what I like to do is just contour this part. I think it just gives me a little bit more of a look when I do this part. I don't necessarily have to bring it all the way down, but just if I do just this part there, it just looks so much better. If I bring it right there, I'm happy. I think it looks okay. And if I can just get a little bit of just a little bit of just a little bit of powder right there uh, I think I'll be happy so I'm just gonna go in with this soft focus and I'm just going to kind of put it just right there on my nose just to act like there's a shadow right there just to lighten it up just a little bit and then I'm actually going to take my fluffy brush and I am going to uh, go ahead and where's my, I'm going to use my little makeup thing and I'm going to kind of clean up underneath here just a little bit right here and clean up under here just a little bit and then I'm just going to brush this off. I'm gonna line 
on my lips with this uh, pin from uh, Newbie, and I like this. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go ahead and it's going towards fall, so hold on guys. So I'm going to go in with this little fall lipstick here. Uh, and this is probably super old, so it's a little dark, so I'm going to go ahead and dab this on. Okay, went ahead and dabbed that on, and now I'm going to actually put something over top of this, which is uh, this little pin right here from Stella. It has a little bit of a little stain. It's a lip stain, but I love the way it uh, actually stains your lips. It just doesn't give me enough color alone, so... I'm going to use that. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to intensify that uh, color in my inner eye just a tad bit because I want it to pop just a little bit more. Okay, now I am going to I believe that's it for the face I'm just going to spray my face with this little uh, okay, okay guys it's like my camera cut off so I don't even see if you saw me cut this but anyway I cut uh, I cut it on the side because I wanted to put layers and I'm going to make a little side part right here uh, so I'm just parting it on the side uh, I haven't worn this parting on the side yet so but it's all good I'm gonna just press it here on the side I'm going to use my um, stick right here and my curling iron to go ahead and press it on the side okay and then I'm gonna curl it Hey guys, sorry, my camera <laughs> uh, battery went dead. But anyway, what I was doing was trying to get this freaking part that's already in my head. It's been in it for a while. I'm trying to get that out, so I'm using my flat iron because uh, I am doing it from the, um, I think the top of my head is cut off. Hold up. <laughs> my big curling iron because I want some big curls. Uh, that's the look I'm going for. So, yeah, guys, I am now nice and single. Not the uh, Libras don't really like being that way, but yeah, it is the status of uh, my uh, life right now. But it's okay, you know.
just going to comb this out with my hands because I don't want the curls to really fall out and I don't want them to be too tight so you can't really see all of what I'm doing that's just kind of like what the hair and the makeup so let's get to the clothes and let me just take some pictures for my Instagram so let's go okay okay guys so this is my finished look I'm not going anywhere, but I just put on this little um, bodycon dress that I got from uh, my favorite store, which I will link below. I believe they might still have it. It just has the little spaghetti straps. I thought it was super cute. Um, I don't have a push-up bra on, but yeah, it has these little cup things right here, which don't fit my bosom but uh maybe somebody with some little boobs but i think it looks okay the way i have it i you know i don't know if anybody has little teeny boobs that are going to fit up in that little teeny space but i would rock it just the way it is i wouldn't even worry about it i mean you could put it pull it down but i wouldn't want to expose all of that <laughs> so yeah i would just wear it like that um my hair just pretty much camouflages it um i love how my hair turned out i probably would cut the layers just a little bit deeper in this but i do love it i have these little earrings on that i got from um nordstrom's um these are cute i probably would wear some studs with this choker because it's probably just a little bit too much to have the choker on and the earrings but i went ahead and put it on anyway um this choker i got from my daughter's shop i will link it below uh, i thought this was super super pretty especially with this little bodycon dress i have on um yeah it was cute i've got a um a pad underneath here but yeah so i'm looking super super big guys but yeah uh my new uh single body is uh is going to be revealed soon so i am going to be super happy with that but all in all i love this look thank you guys for watching i will link everything below i would wear a little black purse with this um this little one i got right here so this is something i definitely would wear with this outfit but yeah so thank you for watching don't forget to check out some more of my videos i'm going to be doing some more get ready with me full get ready with with me so if you like this video uh give it a thumbs up and let me know that you do like it and i'll be doing some other full get ready with me so thank you for watching guys and i will see you soon as always smooches love you guys see you later